right so we have this uh, issue right here where our cover image isn't uh, cropping properly so errors are good because then we get to uh, fix them okay so let me go to my image dot php file this is the image class so i'm going to come down here i think i know what's happening here it's because uh, when the width and the height are given as a square image it doesn't matter which one is used as reference because they're the same but in this case what's happening is it's using the smaller value as reference meaning the image by the time uh, we want to crop it it's too small to be cropped this is why it leaves all this gap so we can try and fix this in the image.php file so what i would do is try to create an adjustment here just in case the max width and max height are not uh, equal. If these two are not equal, as they are given here, not equal. So we should do something else. Make a few adjustments here. So let's do in between, before you resize, this is after the calculation of the resize. So right here, let's adjust. In case, max width and height are different so let's see if we can make some adjustment to the image before we resize it okay so let's try and add an if statement first to find out if this is uh, true so if uh, max width is not equal to max height then let's do some adjustments, shall we? So let me zoom in here so you can see better. So I'm going to ask the question, if max height is greater than max width, we do one thing, else we do something else, okay? So let's start with if it is actually greater. So let's also check if uh, max height so if the max height is greater than the new height okay too many questions like that should be like that so let's do the adjustment so let's say uh, adjustment is equal to uh, uh, let's put any close and inverted commas because we're doing a, a calculation here uh, I'm going to say max height divided by new height so that will be the adjustment we make let me do an else here as well and make a new adjustment. Let me simply copy that. So if you don't understand what's going on here, that's uh, just fine because this is quite advanced stuff. So uh, just uh, play along and uh, type along as I type like this. Okay, so max height divided by new height, new height divided by... Okay, so that's good. We just need to um, reverse this in the else. And then when we are done, now we adjust the new width and the new height. So new width will now be equal to the new width multiplied by the adjustment. Mm -hmm. Same with the new height. We'll use the same adjustment like that mm -hmm. so uh, new height multiplied by adjustment okay so we are adjusting upward to suit uh, the new parameters so here I'll simply copy this and paste in here and the only difference in here is that uh, things will be uh, opposite to each other so here we are looking if uh, for example the max width and new width so those are the 
adjustments we are making here we are dealing with the width on this particular one so let me just control d on all heights and just say width and that should solve our problem but not so fast because now that we've adjusted this uh, let's see actually if this sorts out our problem maybe after we make the adjustments so let me go cover image browse and let me load it again change mm, we are almost there so now we need to make one more adjustment which is down here after we, resi we resize the image let's check again if uh, the max width and max height are not the same so that we do something else instead of doing this here so let me do that let me duplicate this part and then i can push this in like so but this will be on the else statement don't forget the opening tag opening bracket like this so if these are not the same, we do something else. We don't do this. This is for square images only. So what I will do though is copy this because uh, it's going to be kind of uh, similar and paste it here. There will be slight differences uh, here, but uh, all right. So here we're going to start changing uh, from there. That one I'm going to take it to max width and max height so max width is greater than the max height mm -hmm. if that's not true we do that so here on the difference we're going to have the new height and max height instead Uh, the rest becomes the same now the only issue here I'm going to have is that since we are not confirming which of these two is uh, bigger we might have a negative value so let's confirm we're going to say diff is equal to diff times negative one so if we mu you multiply a number by minus one if you multiply a minus a negative number by minus one it becomes a positive uh, if it's a positive it will remain a positive okay so let's try that uh, real quick 4 by 1 minus oh it becomes negative 4 all right so we should only do this if it's actually less than 1 less than 0 sorry which means it's uh, in negatives so if diff is less than 0 so that's when we do this part okay so if diff is less than zero multiplied by minus one to make it positive and the rest remains the same so i'm going to copy this down here because i'll need it to repeat this part and the only thing i'm going to change here is the uh, new width will be compared to max width just like new height to max height there so max height yeah all this math is uh, completely confusing me as well so don't worry if you're confused uh, just copy as it is it's going to probably work so let's uh, let's keep fingers crossed and see if it uh, I've done the math correctly I should have a good uh, working uh, system oh there we go so it's working now pretty awesome so let me try a different kind of image. Uh, let me try this woman here. There we go. So everything is working very, very well. Now you can do some advanced math to make sure that uh, uh, it goes, it selects the top part of the image and not the center and so on. However, I have another uh, tutorial, a series of about four videos, which is talking about how to use JavaScript so that here instead if we go to change cover the user can select the dimensions and the size of the image before pressing change so the link will be in the description for that tutorial all right now one more problem that we have let me try uh, if i change the profile image here 
actually let me change the cover image to the same image that is on the profile or let me do the opposite let me change the profile image to the one that is uh, on the cover yeah so we have this problem here because what's happening is it's the same file being read twice because the file name is exactly the same because this is the same file so that's why we have this problem so to sort out this problem what we will need to do is to make sure that uh, when saving the file names here we change them to a randomly generated uh, file name all right so i'm going to see you in the next video where we do just that so that we can avoid such a collision all right See you in the next video.